welcome back to Dark Corners Streaming. Black exploitation has always been a problematic genre in its perpetuation of certain stereotypes, but it was also a chance for audiences to see, often for the first time, strong African American heroes and heroines. My name's Coffee. 1973's Coffee, which turns 50 this week and which you can stream on Dailymotion, Freebie, and Tubby, is arguably the first female-fronted black exploitation film starring Pam Greer, who certainly saw the genre and the film itself as a chance to forefront black women in popular culture. Shit. Come on now. Coffee certainly does that, but it is also a strong film in its own right, something that occasionally gets sidelined in favour of its politics conflicting with the themes of sex and violence that are central to it. Greer's Coffee is a nurse by day, but by night is on a vengeful quest to kill the men whose drugs have destroyed her sister. Going up against drug dealing pimps, corrupt cops, He's got hippies to beat up. and politicians on the take. Meet Congressman Brunswick. Not to mention exploitation bad guy for hire, Sid Hay. Up in, let's talk. And the good bad divide is certainly not a racial one. Gentlemen, it does my heart good to see the various races getting together in such a spirit of cooperation. Coffee is not pulling any punches. <laughs> Playing detective. Uh, one more thing. Stealing cars. <laughs> seducing the men she will shortly kill. Now do I look like the kind of girl one man would be enough for? Willing to do anything to get her revenge. I don't mind saying that I am the very best. And the film delivers on the action <laughs> and the danger, as well as the exploitation essentials. But for all that she is single-minded in her mission, Coffee is still conflicted. Wouldn't you want to kill somebody who had done a thing like that to your little sister? I don't think there's any doubt that she is going to go through with this, but she does keep questioning whether or not what she's doing is right. What would you do? Kill all of them? Well, why not? More than anything, it is this character trait and Greer's portrayal of it that raises Coffee above so many similar films. If the situation is heightened to black exploitation excess, look, you get your black ass out of here. Then Coffee herself remains a believable character within it, and one who evolves believably from the careworn nurse in this really rather sweet scene with her ex-boyfriend. Oh, when was the last time I laughed? Via some of the horrors she suffers in her quest for vengeance into the altogether harder, less conflicted person she has become by the end. There's always going to be debate about whether these films highlight racial tensions in America. These people all stick together like brothers. Or trade off of them. And the answer can easily be both. What I don't think is up for debate is that Coffee is a well-made, efficient action film that rises above its exploitation elements thanks to a powerful central performance by Greer. Thanks for watching. For more Pam Greer, check out our special about Roger Corman, who was instrumental in the actress's early career. What are your favourite black exploitation films? Let us know in the comments below.